So we just took this uh, 26470 OR brick uh, in trade. It's a really nice watch, a little heavy for me, but um, either way, it's a beautiful watch. Right now, looks pretty good, but um, we definitely want to get it retail ready for the website. So we're going to take this to New York, show you guys a little behind the scenes of this uh, getting touched up and retail ready. And yeah, flash to New York, I guess. I'm the king of New York. Let the magic begin, baby. This is Azad Watch Headquarters. This is our polishing center. This is where we uh, maintain watches. AP, Rolex, Cartier, Patek Philippe, all brands. Let's talk about watch polishing. Watch polishing is something that is an issue. If you pick your close friends, people you interact with, people that you know of, that, or people that know your people, how many of those people do you know that have told you that I am going to study to become a watchmaker? Probably none. It's becoming a bit of a dying breed. So what we do here is we use a multitude of watchmakers. One of those guys is Azad Watches, who's been in the business for years. And he's one of the centers that we utilize to both service and polish our watches. Two different things, as you'll see in a minute. We have three watchmakers here. Um, what they do is they maintain the watches. They open all the mechanics of the watches. They get standard overhauls. We do polishing. We do movement changing. Right here, we're holding the brick the Rose Gold AP from Luxury Resort. And for all you people that don't understand when you're polishing a watch, you can't just polish the watch with the movement inside. So we have to open up every part on the watch and take the mechanics out because if you polish a watch with the movement inside, you have to put the watch itself in the ultrasonic where water could potentially get into the watch if it's not water sealed. The watchmaker I'm gonna give it to shortly, he would take the band off. He would take the bezel out in each and every screw, the back casing out with all the screws. He would also take out the pushers and the crown. Obviously these pushers are ceramic pushers so you don't polish ceramic pushers, but sometimes we buff the crown as well where you see the rose go AP symbol. Um, we would also take the buckle out as well. And that would be the first general step to polishing a watch. So now we're giving the brick rose gold brick to Carlos and Carlos is one of our premier watchmakers who works on all kind of watches from double tourbillon to regular tourbillon to any complicated watches out here. The great thing about him, Carlos has been a watchmaker since he was 16 years old and he's deaf so he pays very good attention to detail. stated before, we've wrote down the ticket number here, 7148, and also wrote it here on the plastic and the initials for Carlos. There's a numerous number of things that can happen to a watch. Wear and tear, things happen to a watch. This particular watch was pretty beat up. Both wear and tear, it's been dropped a few times, timing was off, so what needs to be done? Polishing is one thing, and the other thing is the service part of it. When you take the movement out, when you utilize proper machines to check every functionality of the watch, Relubing the watch, think of it as an oil change, then putting it all back together and getting the watch back brand spanking new. He's opened up all the components and pieces for the brick AP Rose Gold. Now the second stage is to give it to the polishing department. And then this is where they will start the process of taking out all the scratches from the watch. Hello, my name is Erwin. I'm a polisher. I'm doing this for 30 years and I do jewelry and watches. You have to learn to hold the metal. If you can't hold the metal, you're not used to it. There's no such thing that you cannot fix it. We're gonna try to solve the, the watches. How can we fix it? How can we make it look new? That's about it. Before you see it so grimy, dirty, too ugly. When it's finished, become unique. Make, make everybody look so passionate by looking at it. Jewelry is always to make everybody happy when they, they look newer. Like when you go to the store, you cannot, you cannot look a watch, a ring, a different kind of jewelry. Like, like they always look bright. 
I make it look good. Well, I appreciate you coming No out. problem. Thank you so much. Appreciate no problem. It. Now, if you guys stepped into my office and you saw how we handle merchandise from location to location within the office alone, let alone bringing stuff in, taking stuff out, sending it out to repair, you'd be pretty impressed in terms of how we handle things. Everything is barcoded. Everything has a ticket. It's scannable. You can always find out where a particular watch is at any given time. Their stuff needs to be even more impressive because you know what happens? They take my stock number and then they break it out into multiple pieces. Some pieces go to polishing, some pieces go to the watchmaker. And then every single part of that watch is numbered, whether it's stored in a bag when it comes to parts to be polished, or it's usually stored in a tray that has separate compartments for specific parts of the movement, be it a dial, be it the hands, be it wheels, etc. And every single tray and part is actually numbered. That way, when you give them an AP offshore, you don't get back a Rolex Mariner, basically. <laughs>